Many businesses have been suffering throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, but CRISPR isn't just surviving, it's thriving. CRISPR planting chips made its debut in the market two years ago. It started with this husband and wife couple, Joanne and Jeremiah Joseph. 14 years ago, well, it would be 16 now, we started making planting chips in our homes. 16 years later, we were able to buy our machines little by little. I bought our machines and we had, my wife came one day and she said, look, I'm going to do a factory. I suited up to tour the facility as our team did back in 2019, eager to know how the business has been doing amid the pandemic. Like with most businesses, um, sales would have dipped um, in the big beginning of the pandemic. Um, I think because of the fear and the unknown, um, sales went down. But after persons got a clearer idea as to what the pandemic was and persons were locked at home, um, business actually picked up for us because persons were at home and they were snacking. While the company isn't exporting to the extent it would like, CRISPR is in most Eastern Caribbean states and it also has expanded its variety of planting chips. According to the, the plan that we had initially was the, should have been the lightly salted and then we go to the hot and spicy. However, the challenge that we were having is there were a few plantings that were getting ripe on us. So we had to divert from doing the hot and spicy to the ripe. The sweet planting chips were introduced in February last year. The hot and spicy flavor came on stream during the pandemic last October. That actually is our top seller. But taking the leap into operating a manufacturing company in a small island wasn't easy, especially when faced with the words of naysayers. When we told our friends, some of them said chips, and some of them said, you're crazy. And some of them said, how are you, you going to do that? And then we, after a while, we stopped telling people because we were kind of afraid to hear of the negativity that was coming from them. However, Joanne says people who want to have a business need to stick to it and do this. There is um, anybody who has a dream that has a vision, as uh, my husband would have said, I think it is not to share that dream. Sometimes telling persons your dream can kill that dream. Jessica Russell, ABS News.